Hi, fifth grade. Happy Tuesday. I am here to help you with your assignment for today called Literary Essay Body Paragraphs Practice. Make sure you have this document pulled up. I would recommend even having it pulled up right now as you're listening. The first thing you want to do, which you always want to do, is read the directions first. So it says directions. Step one, read the example body paragraph below for a day's work. Pay close attention to how it is highlighted. So right here under the words example, it says body supporting paragraph number one for a day's work. So the first thing you want to do is read through this paragraph right here and look at how I have it highlighted. Pause the video if you need to, read through it, pay attention to the highlighting. Step two, under the example body paragraph, Try writing your own body paragraphs for Dr. DeSoto using the same steps. Okay, so you wanna be careful. My example's on a day's work, but you're going to be writing yours on Dr. DeSoto, the same story you did your intro practice on yesterday. This assignment requires you to take your work from that doc, okay, um, use your a day's work and Dr. DeSoto doc to help you. You want that doc, to transform it into paragraphs below. Having both this doc and that doc open while you work will be helpful. And then, of course, at the end, turn in your doc. So me or Mr. G, if you're in his class, can check your work. Okay, so let me show you the other document you need open. So the other one you'll want is called A Day's Work and Dr. DeSoto. Now, all of you were assigned this document before, so you should have this one done. I would recommend doing split screen or just having them both pulled up in two separate tabs. That will also work fine. Okay, now, the first thing you're going to want to do, and I'm gonna show you right here under where it says example. You're gonna do it right here under where it says now you try, okay? I'm going to show you my example for a day's work. You are going to be doing it for Dr. DeSoto. So I'm doing the same steps you guys will have to do. I'm just modeling with a different story. Okay, so first thing, in purple, highlight the trans transition word or phrase that begins the paragraph. Now, you can highlight or you can just change the font color to purple. I'm gonna show you how to find that on your doc here. Okay, so if I'm looking at where it says a day's work, I have my theme at the top. I don't need to start there. I'm gonna actually start with how the theme is shown at the beginning because this is my first body paragraph, so it's about the beginning of the story. My transition phrase comes right here in the beginning of the story. I'm going to copy that and I would paste it right here at the start. Okay, and then you'll see I highlighted that in purple. So on yours where it says, now you try, you're gonna look at what you typed under Dr. DeSoto and same thing for you, it says in the beginning of the story, you copy it, you go to your doc, you would paste it right there, and you can highlight it in purple. Perfect, we're already done. Okay, and in mine I already did this, I changed the font color to purple, that's also fine. Next thing, in orange, highlight the rest of the first sentence, which gives the topic of the paragraph and relates back to the theme. It's the rest of the first sentence. So, it's going to be the rest of our sentence that started with in the beginning of the story. So, if I'm looking at my doc here, um, if we're looking at doc, or, eh, sorry, if we're looking at a day's work, for me, I said in the beginning of the story, and now here's the rest of my sentence. It's all in bold. I'm gonna copy it, and then I already pasted it right here. There's evidence that sometimes it is tempting to lie in order to get what you want, and I changed the font color to orange. For yours, if you're looking at Dr. DeSoto, you have where it says in the beginning of the story, whatever you typed after that, 
whatever you typed right here for how the theme comes in the beginning. You want to copy that. Okay, copy the rest of this part after where it says in the beginning of the story, copy it. And you're going to paste it right here. And whatever you paste, okay, you're going to put in orange. Obviously, yours wouldn't say hick whatever this says. Yours is going to be the rest of that sentence. All right, next step says, in pink, highlight the examples given. This part often starts with the words, for example. So the first thing you'll want to do is actually type the words, for example, and put it in pink, okay? So down here, you have your purple. You'd have whatever you put in orange for the rest of that sentence. And then you're going to type the words, for example, Put a comma after it and put it in pink. Okay, now where do we find our examples of how the theme is shown at the beginning? Well, if we look back at our document, you on your assignment before had to give two to three details from the story that show it. You're going to just copy and paste those through two or three details from Dr. DeSoto for you. You copy and paste those two or three details right here in pink. So it would be like your detail one and your detail two. For me, I'm gonna show you what I did for a day's work. So I have, um, in the beginning of the story, that was my part in purple, there is evidence that sometimes it is tempting to lie in order to get what you want. That was my part in orange. Now, my examples of that are Francisco lied about his grandfather's gardening abilities, and he did this because he wanted to make a day's work, which means get money for the work they would do for that day. I would copy those examples, and I'm going to paste them right here in pink, okay? Now, on mine, I'm going to show you what that looks like. It says, Francisco lied about his grandfather's gardening abilities. He did this because he wanted to make a day's work, get money for the work they would do, right? What I just said. And notice, I don't still have it as bullet points because this is a paragraph. I changed it to be complete full sentences without bullet points. Now, the last thing it says is add in a quote. Oops, this should actually say pink. We want that to go in pink. Let me just adjust that for us a moment. There we go. Okay, so you're going to add in a quote from the story too and put it in pink. And really, it should be add in a quote from the beginning of the story since we're talking about our first supporting paragraph from the beginning of the story. So what I did to get my quote is I pulled up the story, a day's work right here. I listened to the beginning section and I typed in something that was said word for word in the story. So word for word from the book, Francisco says, my father is a fine gardener, is what he said when he lied. For Dr. DeSoto, when you guys are adding in your quote, um, and I'll change this for you too, because this really should be um, from the beginning of the story and you want that to be in pink, not orange because it goes with our examples. What you're going to do is pull up doc the Dr. DeSoto story, which if you look at your day's work in Dr. DeSoto doc, it's this first link at the top right here. <coughs> pull it up, listen to the beginning of the story, and add in a quote that goes with your details you put in pink, okay? So the next thing you wanna do is put in a quote. Okay, now the last step says, highlight the concluding sentence of this paragraph. It ties back to the theme and often starts with the words, this shows that, it is clear that, or in the end. 
So what we could do first is just type in the words, this shows that, and then I'm gonna put it in yellow. Well, what does it show? Let's go back to our document. We know our theme for a day's work is in life it is important not to lie and to always do the right thing. Hmm. So I said, this shows that it is often hard not to lie when you want to receive something that looks good to you, which goes with this sentence right here in orange. There's evidence that sometimes it is tempting to lie in order to get what you want. So really this part in yellow, you're just rewording what was in orange. I'm gonna say that again. The part in yellow is really similar to what's in orange. You just change up the wording a little bit. And then you are done. So right here, you can say this shows that, and then you're gonna reword what you had in orange. And then you're done. And then you'll move on to body paragraphs two and three. And remember, you're doing yours for Dr. DeSoto and having this document right here pulled up that has all your notes on Dr. DeSoto done already, gonna be super helpful. You already did a ton of the work, so it shouldn't take you too long. If you need help, reach out to your ELA teacher. Happy to help you, bye.